I'm going to try again to do a rosary that you can see me working on. I have this tool, and okay, I'm going to show a good shot of that. It's got a U little slot down the center, and the first thing I need is a piece of cord. And this one's very long. It doesn't need to be 60 inches, but it is. I also use a piece of wire that's been doubled in half. And it is looped around the string so that it makes like a, kneading, a needle threading kind of thing. Okay, so now I take my tool and I hold about two, three inches of string on to one side of it, and I start wrapping. I go one, and then the next one is closer to my thumb. Two, three, four, five, six. All of those wraps are closer and closer to my thumb, farther away from the tip of the tool. Now, I go through the bottom of the groove and bring the cord through all the way through and then I have my knot which I hold on to carefully and pull the tool out. Now I very gently pull the string in both directions so I have a nice, tight knot. The next thing I would do is start adding beads. There'd be ten Hail Mary beads for a decade. And then I always follow them up with another bead that's a different color and shape for the Our Father bead. Some people like to use um, Spacers. I don't like spacers because they're so tiny and my hands shake a bit. Anyway, um, after you have five decades of Hail Mary beads and four Our Father beads, like I have on this strand, I don't put an Our Father at the very end, okay? Because I'm going to put a knot there. So I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 Hail Mary beads and 4 Our Fathers. Now it's time to make another knot. Okay, so I've got my tool. 1, 2, 3, 4 five, six wraps around, and again, I come from the bottom, closest to the handle, and work out through the knot to the end. Okay. And I pull the tool out of the knot, and I hold on to that knot, and gently pull it closer and closer to the beads as I tug on the long end to tighten it. Then, what I need to do is put in the center metal, which I'm going to have to reach for, so I'm readjusting my camera. And I am getting a center metal. It's made of plastic. I'm going to put um, the short end of the string first through the top hole on the front and turn it over and go through the bottom hole on the back. Now we turn back to the front again and take the long end of the string with, with my wire and go through the top hole and then flip it over and I like to slide this through the string 
and that way I have an equal amount of string on either side of the center metal. You can put both strings through the hole. I like it this way better. Now again, I take my tool and I have the center metal in my hand and I'm going to wrap one, two, three, four, five, six. So the, the very last wrap is closest to the metal, really close. If you don't get it quite that close, it's okay because you can readjust when you're tightening the knot. And then you pull the wire through here from the handle end out towards the point. And pull this cord all the way through. Hold on to the knot. Remove the tool. Then hold on to the knot with one hand and pull the long piece of cord with the other hand. Leave the short piece alone. Don't worry about it. We're going to cut that off in a minute. So it's nice and tight. Now we need one our father bead. Okay, my eyes aren't as good as they need to be. One. And three Hail Marys. So one, two, three, and the last our father bead, so that all together we will have six on here when it's done. Pull that all the way to the knot next to the center metal, and adjust the cord because it looks like it's, it's getting doubled up here and we don't really need it to do that. Well, Okay, there we go. I just need to adjust it because it's too much string remaining. So I will adjust it on my wire. So I only have a little bit of string hanging down instead of a lot like I did have. Now I need a crucifix. Okay. So I've got everything except the crucifix, and I go through that. There's only one hole, and pull the cord through, and get tangled up in everything else I have here. There we go. And I leave it about an inch away from the beads, and I keep the cord doubled. And I put that doubled cord over top of my tool. And I'm going to wrap one, two. This is the hardest knot to make because I have to keep it from getting tangled. Three, four. Five, six. Okay, it's wrapped around six times. I like to do it six. You might want to do it five or seven. But after it's nice and lined up, all the cord real pretty like that. The cross is in my hand. The last part of that wrap was closest to the cross. First part of the wrap was closest to the tip. Okay. Now I'm starting at the handle end and going through. And I've got to pull that string. Whoops, let's not get it caught on the end of my handle. Pull that string on through. And hold the knot. Hold the tool out. And hold the knot with your fingers like this, as close to the beads as you can. And pull the tail of it nice and tight. If you have trouble tightening the string, some cord is waxed and I really have a hard time with the wax, you can always tighten it with needle nose pliers. And nobody's going to be able to untighten that. And if you're certain that you have 50 Hail Marys 
and four our fathers plus the two our fathers with the three Hail Marys in the center and your knots are nice and tight now you take your scissors and snip off the extra ends without cutting the knot nice and close but not cutting it okay now some people like to add a dab of clear drying glue to this knot and to this knot I never do because I know my knots are really nice and tight okay this can go and be shipped anywhere in the world and it's going to be fine now you might notice if you're not using wire like I do to thread the string through the beads the string might start to fray on the end to avoid that you can put a little drop of glue on here and let it dry or you can put a little drop of clear nail polish on there and let it dry before you begin. Uh, then you just go one bead at a time and it's a little bit more tedious. So, cheat with some wire if you have it. Enjoy making rosaries. I've got this one. I've got the one from yesterday that I made. I've got plenty of more parts here to keep making more. I hope this was understandable and enjoy making your rosaries.